Hey, so you've heard the tough news by now, which is that LinkedIn, despite our best efforts, has gone ahead with their plan to limit the number of personalized invites people can send without LinkedIn Premium, and also even limit the number of characters they can use in those messages. And so while I think that's ultimately a disservice for LinkedIn, because a rich, diverse network is actually a more powerful network, as LinkedIn's own research shows, if you look at some of the things they've done with MIT on the power of weak ties, the reality is it's still gone through. So what are you going to do about it? Well, you could try to limit your connections to 10 a month, try to send these really short invites, or you could recognize that trying to send a message through LinkedIn is actually a relatively high friction strategy. Here's why. The first sort of dirty little secret of LinkedIn is that most people just aren't that active on it. Just because you or I are on it right now doesn't mean that everyone we're reaching out to is actively engaged. So maybe they never see their inbox, or maybe they go over to their inbox and half the messages are sent over to other, basically the version of spam. And then maybe it even makes it into their Gmail, but Gmail marks it as a social or a promotional message. And so they never see it there. So all these haircuts that are applied to your message and its chances of getting through just because you sent on LinkedIn. And by the way, all these things apply both to LinkedIn connection requests and LinkedIn premium, LinkedIn emails. So there's no free lunch on LinkedIn. That being said, what is the one inbox that every professional is checking 10 to 20 times a day? It's not LinkedIn. It is their work email. So check this out. Let's say that you want to get in touch with an alum from one of your schools who could really open some doors for you. So you go over here to the University of Michigan page and you say, hey, I want to break into the world of product management and I would love to learn from a Wolverine who's already in there. So I come over here to this alumni tab. This is the product that my team worked on when I was at LinkedIn. And you say, show me every alum who is in the product management space. So we're going to scroll on over to what they do. And then we're going to find someone in that world. So there's product management. And then we're going to see where these people are. It turns out they're at Google, they're at Amazon, Microsoft. And let's do something a little sneaky. Let's actually see if there are any Wolverines at LinkedIn. Because maybe if you get a job at LinkedIn, you can change some of these things. And sure enough, there are five product management alums at LinkedIn. And if we wanted to get in touch with someone like Chris, for instance, we could definitely just you know, click connect, send him a very short message or buy LinkedIn premium, but we have all those problems. So instead of doing that, watch this. We're gonna come over to hunter.io. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the linkedin.com email domain. That is what every LinkedIn employee uses. And obviously you could do this for any organization in the world, government, nonprofit, for-profit, what have you. And the beautiful thing that Hunter does for you is it'll tell you right here what the email pattern is. And this is true, by the way. LinkedIn's email pattern is always first initial, last name at linkedin.com. And just like that, you now have everything you need to really reach out to that person on the inside. But let's not stop there. Let's recognize the fact that because you're not limited to 200 characters, you could actually send even a better message. So maybe you come over to ChatGPT, you come back to Chris's profile. And because we wanna have a really personalized message, we're gonna grab his entire profile bottom, everything he's been up to since his time in Ann Arbor, we're going to say, generate a message to an alum in the PM space. Make it focused on what we have in common, because we know that's important, and have a clear CTA to ask for a 10-minute virtual meeting. That way you have a chance to learn. Now watch this. Here is the alum's profile. We're going to paste it in. And then we'll say, here is my CV. And I'll just paste in my personal resume because I went to Michigan. And so bam, once ChatGPT has all that information, it can say, okay, here's what you have in common. Here's what you're interested in. And here's a message that focuses on what you want to learn based on that shared experience. So if you want to reach out in a really powerful way that people are actually likely to see and to do it in a personalized way and to do it in a way that doesn't cost you any money, guess what? It's not LinkedIn premium. It's not emails. It is pure ingenuity here in 2024. So I hope you enjoy that hack and happy new year and wishing you tremendous success throughout the year to come. Cheers, everyone.